in this next part of the video, I'm going to use the method test yourself to revise the sections of the orchestra. So strings, woodwind, brass and percussion. And here's how you do it. So I'm going to take my jotter pad, right? And I'm going to turn to a fresh page and I'm going to fold that fresh page in half so that it looks like this. Now I'm going to write my title at the top. So I'm going to write sections of the orchestra. And then I'm going to spend my time looking at a section of the orchestra maybe saying it over in my head, really trying to memorize it like with look, cover, write, correct. And then I'm gonna cover that section up, put it out of my sight, and then I'm gonna try and write down uh, the name of the section and then the instruments associated with it. So I've got strings. I'm gonna unfold my piece of paper and I'm gonna write down those instruments I can remember from it. Now I think there were four, and I can't remember that last one. So at this point, it is okay for me to just check. Okay, and now I know I need to write in the double bass. Okay. Then I'm gonna do the same with another section of the orchestra. I'm just gonna partition that section off. I'm gonna write down my next section and then the instruments I can remember, and so on. Now what this means is that I've now got a nice way of testing myself and then checking to see whether I've got the answers right. So I've prepared one of these earlier and I've done a bit of testing of myself already. So here I've written down all of the instruments, uh, all of the sections of the orchestra, and then the instruments associated with them. And then I've done a bit of testing so I folded this over and I tested myself on what string instruments could I remember. Now when I did it the first time round, I was able to say in my head and maybe write down on a piece of paper what those instruments were and I got every single one of them correct. Therefore I ticked it off in green pen and that shows me that it's an area of revision that I'm confident with. When it came to me trying to memorise woodwind, I was able to remember the flute, the oboe, but I couldn't quite remember the other two. So when I came to checking it, I could see, ah, oh, I was missing the clarinet and the bassoon. So I've put a cross next to woodwind, and that's gonna tell me that that's an area that I know I need to come back to and do some more testing of myself on it. And the beauty of this method is these questions and these definitions can quite easily sit there and you can get a member of your family, or a friend to help you with it and to test you on these. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna take out your jotter pad and you're gonna do exactly the same as what I've done. So on a fresh page, you're gonna fold that and then you're gonna to turn to the music section of your booklet and you're gonna have a go at memorizing the sections of the orchestra. It may be that your teacher or your tutor allows you to, uh, or guides you to a different page of the revision pack, that's okay if that's the case. But for now, you're gonna use this test yourself method and you're gonna spend three minutes silently trying to just write out a definition and then the words on the right hand side. Once you've done that and you've got two or three questions or definitions, then I want you to spend a bit of time testing yourself whether that means you're working with the person next to you and asking them to test you, or you are writing out those and saying them in your head and then testing yourself, um, you can liaise with your tutor about that. Good luck with your testing yourself technique and I hope you enjoy this aspect of your revision.